Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Canning Nana. So today we are going to be doing sourdough starter, the dehydrated sourdough starter that a lot of you guys got and um, you've received it already. Sorry about my cat. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this, how to start it. Um, I guess I should have opened this before I start it. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so here we are. I have the packet open and I am going to show you how this can turn into this right there. And I'm going to show you how good this looks, you guys. This is how the sourdough starter looks. It bubbles all by itself. You see that? All the bubbles in there. Awesome. And it tastes amazing. It makes really good bread. I haven't done that yet on video. Okay, so we're going to get a glass jar. Any size, I prefer a small glass jar to start. And once it starts doubling in size, like probably in two days, you can switch it to a pint size jar. And if you received your sprouting seeds as well, please go see that video, it's now up. I'm gonna, and if you have any questions about either one of these, please leave your comments in the video, or you can always email me at thecanningnana at gmail.com. I will answer all of your emails always. Um, just let me know. So we are going to take your little bag of sourdough starter and empty it into the jar. Simple, right? So simple, and you can break them up. It doesn't matter if you got crumbs or pieces. Um, I tried to give some, some pieces and crumbs to everybody, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so you want to have, and you guys received instructions with your packets, um, but for anybody else, I, I will be making these available in about two weeks, okay? Um, so what we're going to do, you're going to put the dry starter in the glass, just like this. You're going to add two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of flour. Okay. So here's your two tablespoons of water. I've already measured it out. Two tablespoons of water and then two tablespoons of flour. And I've already measured that out. So we're going to put it in there. Then you're going to stir it well, which is kind of hard for me to do. If you think you need a little tiny bit more water, it's fine. I do use um, bottled filtered water. I don't like my tap water. It has a lot of minerals and things in it um, and chlorine, and I just don't like that. So obviously I can't do this very well. Hold on one second. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've mixed this up and it doesn't look like much and it's going to be lumpy, okay? So that's what it looks like. It's not all completely mixed together. Um, it's about as good as I'm going to get it for today. You guys see that in there? Okay, so don't worry about it. It's just you want to get as much of it wet as you can, and then you're just going to leave it. So, okay, just like that. Okay, so... You want to keep adding two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of flour daily. And what I've done, um, you can add, you can do this in the morning and then again in the evening to get this started um, until it's active. And it takes about five days to get it bubbly and active. So don't worry if it's not doing anything right away, it's going to double in size. You'll see a difference in this um, probably by the evening when it, it all melds together. It all melts together. Um, so in the morning, do this the first time. And then in, in the evening, I would add another two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of water and mix it thoroughly. And by the evening, it'll all be mixed up together. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to put a lid on it like this. And I don't even put a ring on it. I just leave a lid on it, just like this one. Um, and then I set it in a dry place. Um, you don't want a cold place. You want to keep it a little bit warm. Um, not on your stove at this point. When you want an, uh, to get a, um, a, a, an active starter more quickly, you can put it in a warmer place. Um, but we'll, we'll hit on that later on. So 
Once, after the five days, after it starts getting bubbly, you want to use one part starter, one part flour, um, one part ratio every 12 hours, okay? So I, like I said, I do this in the beginning. I do it, I do it every 12 hours to begin with, twice a day, um, evening and then, or morning and then evening. And you will have a starter. It'll be active and bubbly in about five days. Um, this starter right here is probably about 10 days old, I guess. And look at that. So if you forget to add water or starter or uh, flour to your starter, um, if you forget to stir it for a day, you're going to get um, this pink stuff on the top, which is really not bad. Um, but I discard that and then I start over. I add two tablespoons more of flour, two tablespoons of water. Um, actually when it's this big like this, I add about a quarter cup of flour, a quarter cup of water, and then I switch it to other jars and I dehydrate it or I use it. Um, but we'll get to that later. So here is your beginning starter and you can mush it up a little bit more if you want to. That's how you start your dehydrated starter. When you want to take a break from it, once it like gets to this, this part right here, um, once it's all bubbly and it has started already, you can put it in the refrigerator. Um, takes, you know, if you, if you're going on vacation or whatever, put it in the refrigerator and feed it once a week. So, and then put it back in the refrigerator. This way it stays active. When you want to use it again, put it out on your counter, let it warm up, keep feeding it, and um, and it'll it'll keep growing and keep discarding or use your starter. Um, we'll do recipes with starter after we get past this point when you guys have some starter to use. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, please email me at thecanningnana at gmail.com. And I promise you this starter will turn into this. Just be really patient. Um, it will, it will get there. You just have to be patient and keep feeding it. I will see you guys soon. Please list any comments or suggestions um, or questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching you guys.